person does a self breast exam, what time of month, how do they do it? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. They should probably do it away from their actual menstrual cycle, maybe mid, mid cycle. Um, and basically, the idea is to not really push down on your breast, but kind of go over the tissue lightly. And when you really roll something underneath your fingers, and you can feel the mass when you roll it, that's when you get a little bit more concerned. Does it, is there any characteristic of that? Does it feel gritty? Is it hard like a rock? Does it move around? Is there any under the keys if somebody, you know, I don't know if yeah. that's it or not? Well, it can be all those things, unfortunately. So, you know, some of these masses can be against the chest wall, so it would be hard to move, but some are more in the front of the breast, and so they can be more easily to move. So when you go for a breast check with a physician and there is a suspicious area, is that when you get the mammography or you start getting mammographies for other reasons? Well, if you're at the physician and you feel a clinical breast mass, then you would work that up with probably mammogram and an ultrasound. Well, what's an ultrasound? Ultrasound is looking at sound waves over that and you can tell differences what might be a solid mass, what might be a fluid filled cavity. That would be good. That would be good, that would be good. And then different solid masses have different appearances on ultrasound that can give you a hint, well maybe it's a benign solid mass or a malignant one. Should everybody have an ultrasound or should they have mammography? Uh, well, for a clinical breast mass, they should have both. Yeah. Screening might be a little bit different, but if you feel something, you should have both those. Now, there are new recommendations on this screening with mammography that says start at 50 in the old days, it was 40, and a lot of controversy, and um, my feeling is you should start at 40. <laughs> uh, what is the feeling of the oncologist? Now? Well, I don't think, I think there was a task force recommendation. I don't know how well it's really been applied, and most insurance companies are still sticking to the 40 years of age.